What is up, everybody? Welcome to another brand new video. This is Searching for Hits with Eric, and I am Eric. And this is my second video from my trip to Cooperstown. Uh, posted one yesterday with one of the mystery boxes I picked up uh, picked up while I was there. Uh, actually found an autographed ticket stub in there along with some pretty good cards. So for a $10 box, uh, I thought it was worth it. Love to hear from you guys. Uh, but now... On this Mystery Box Monday, I figured let's go through the rest and see what we could find. Uh, we got a $10 Cooperstown Treasure Box, which uh, has a guaranteed hit in it. So I'm looking forward to that. We'll save that one for a little bit. Uh, have three different jewel cases. One was $4.99. This is the Cooperstown Collector Starter Pack. Um, and then we have these two jewel cases, which were $4 a piece. Saw some Hall of Famers. Um, figured let's pick them up and see. And then these were only a dollar a piece, uh, two baseball, two football and a basketball. Um, missing one. There's the other one. Um, so for five bucks, I got all four of the, all five of these. And what caught my eye was the Mike Piazza rated rookie on the outside of one of them. So, uh, I am a big Piazza fan. So I figured for five bucks, let's try those out. So we will open up all of these, see what kind of value we can find. Hopefully a couple of real nice hits, but these, uh, these mystery packs are always fun. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Love to have you along for more videos and uh, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the cards. Um, they had about five or six of these when I was in the store. Just picked one. Um, I saw a Sheffield rookie on the top. Always loved Gary Sheffield when I was a kid with his super fast bat speed. So that was my reasoning for choosing this one. So let's see what we can find. 100 cards in here for $4.99. Uh, looks like a lot of vintage or older cards at least. So the Sheffield, you know, not huge value, but I, I do like Sheffield. There's a Ron Gant rookie. Ron Gant, good player, a lot of 89 tops. There's the Mets team card. John Franco, always loved John Franco when he was closing for the Mets. Uh, actually met John Franco earlier this year. Juan Nieves, ran into him at a pizzeria, actually. Uh, Chris Carpenter, that's his rookie card. Brantley, I didn't realize it'd be so much, 989. Um, but we have some Bowman's Best here from, uh, what is this from? Bowman's Best from 1999. Let's see what we got. Maybe we got somebody good in here. There's a Jose Fernandez rookie card. Jose Fernandez had, uh, he was up in the majors for a little while. Mamone Tucker. Do not remember Mamone Tucker. Jeff Urban. So these are all Bowman's best rookies. Uh, Juan Encarnacion, that is not a rookie. He had a couple of good years. Uh, now we got some, what is this, 2,000 tops? Uh, 98 tops. Yamil Benitez. Corey Lytle. Uh, unfortunately remembered for his uh, his crash, killing, uh, killing him. Uh, crashed into a building in Manhattan. Uh, Edwin Diaz, Miguel Cairo, had a nice long career, Miguel Cairo, another Corey Lytle, and Jay Bell. So not much in this box so far. Looks like we've got some more 87 tops. 87 tops, you know, you're looking for the Bonds and the the bow. There's a Vince Coleman, that's Coleman's uh, third year. Liked Vince Coleman quite a bit when he was with the Mets. Uh, a lot of commons here. It's Parish All-Star card. All right, here's the last stack from that box. We got Dennis Martinez from 81 Donruss. Is that his rookie card? No. I didn't realize Dennis Martinez was around for that long, uh, but he pitched for a very long time. <clears throat> 81 Donruss, first year of Donruss, known for its quality control issues. Bert Hooten. So I'll have to go back and check to see if there's any errors because this was loaded with error cards. Bill Stein, um, 
Roger Erickson, Al Harabaski, Jerry Martin. See, like these might be, these are labeled as Giants cards, both of them, but they're both Cubs players. So these might be errors. Um, I gotta go take a look back again and see. Um, but quality control was a big problem with the 81. Glenn Adams. Hoskin Powell. These are, looks like we got couple sticking together. Joe Lefevre, Bobby Clark, Ron LaFleur, Jim Dwyer, Bill Castro, and Ada, uh, Andy Hassler. I'm going to just go through some of these Donruss pretty quickly, see if we could find any, any big names or if they are all going to be Bombo Rivera. They're all, all going to be Commons. Pat Kelly, Ron Jackson, Dave Roberts here, Rob Wilfong, <laughs> and Mickey Rivers, he was decent, Yvonne DeJesus, Cliff Johnson, a lot of Cubs, looks like it's the Cubs team set here, Roy Somali, oh, there's some twins, all right, let's see what we got at the bottom here, we got a Metal Universe Derek Lee, a draft pick card of Tim Drew and Donnie Bridges. Do not remember them. Uh, there's a Jason Worth draft pick card. That's kind of cool. Dan Reichart. It's actually my favorite card of this box, I think, besides the Sheffield. Prospect, prospect, prospect. So who do we got here? Uh, Robert Fick. I don't know who these guys are. Mark Osborne and A.J. Hinch. So A.J. Hinch, who is now a manager. There's his prospect card as a player. We got Brad Rigay, who I do not... Or Rigby, excuse me. Uh, Cedric Bowers and Marcus McCain. We got a Kevin Reese Bowman rookie card. Uh, Fleer Tradition, who to watch? Ben Petrick and D'Angelo Jimenez from Fleer Tradition. So, um, interesting cards to finish off with. Uh, first mystery box here that I'm opening. Um, honestly, I would give a D, not the greatest mystery box. Um, you know, struggle to find my $4.99 in value out of this box, but that's the way they go. Can't expect to find gems in every mystery box, especially at such a low cost. So that's the first one. I'd say that was, like I said, fun to go through, but not very valuable. Let's go to these dollar packs. These looked pretty good. I'm figuring there's 25 or so cards in here. Um, oh, they taped them. They taped the theme bags. All right. So we're going to have to get my knife out here. I'm going to have to carefully, carefully cut open this team bag and I will rebag them later, but. Big old thick piece of tape on here. Killing me. Of course, the piazza is on the outside, so it's going to take any potential damage that I cause here. All right, here we go throw out that team bag let's see what we got so on the back like i said is that mike piazza rated rookie this was only a dollar for this 
whole pack. So already pretty happy. Uh, Braun from Chrome. That's back in 2013, so that's pretty early Braun. Uh, Ian Desmond. Tory Hunter had a nice career. Barry Larkin, Dream Team. Boggs. There's Brett Gardner from uh, Heritage, I think. 2013. Put that aside for my cousin Joe. It's a Yankees pile for him. Tim Hudson, David Murphy. There's D. Gordon, Mark Grace. It's Mark Grace rookie card. That's kind of cool. Derek Lee from Bowman. These are Bowman 2006. Uh, Carlos Lee. J.D. Drew and Carlos Delgado. I like Delgado a lot. There's a Phil Hughes from 2011. I'll put that aside. That's pretty cool. If you have not seen it, check out Phil Hughes' channel, Phil's Pulls. Uh, he's been off and quiet for a little bit, but some great videos. Mike Miner. Justin Ducher. Uh, we got an Alfonso Soriano from SP Authentic. It's actually his second year card. That's kind of cool. Uh, Hank Blaylock. Hey, there's the kid, Ken Griffey Jr. 19, uh, excuse me, 02 tops. And a Steve Carlton highlights card from 84 tops. So uh, for a dollar, not bad. I'll take it. Certainly, uh, certainly acceptable. You know, can't expect too much for a dollar. All right, let's do the other baseball and see what we can find in here. I'm trying to see if there's a an obvious easier way to get this opened up, but I do not think so. There we go. I think I got this one. Well, maybe not. Slice straight across this time. Not even play games. All right. So I saw this Justin Verlander on top. And I that's that's why I grabbed this one. Because it was an O... I thought it was an 07. It's an 08. So a very early Justin Verlander, which was pretty cool. Seemed like it was in pretty good shape. Um, and again, the pack was a dollar. Um, we actually have some sleeve cards in there, which is kind of cool. Uh, Daniel Palka, draft picks, prism card. That's numbered out of 100. 35 out of 100. That's crazy. So we do have a parallel Daniel Palka out of 100. So let's, uh, let's make room for that. Um, this is sleeved also. We have a Neftali Perez, Bowman Chrome, and that's numbered out of $4.99. So not one, but two numbered cards in here. So well worth the dollar. That's crazy. Um, let's see what else we got in here. I turn back the clock. We got a, a Darren Dalton. There's a Brewers team card. Jairo Diaz, Rockies rookie card. It is a rookie. That's kind of cool. Darren O'Day. Uh, there's one of those, some of those heritage cards for the 53 or 52, I believe. Tops 53 series where they reprinted the entire set. There's Matt Carpenter. These are 2014. Zanino. Prince Fielder. Elvis Andrews. Brandon Phillips. There's Heritage. Sergio Romo. Nathan Yavaldi. It's actually Nathan Yavaldi's second year card. And there's Salvi Perez. That's a pretty early Salvi Perez. These are from 2013. So that's a real early Salvi Perez who had 46 homers last year. Darren Dalton and the last card on the back is an award winner's card of Eddie Murray. So very, very nice dollar pack there. Getting two numbered cards. Um, but yeah, we'll certainly take that.
All right, let's go look at these football real quick. It's gonna be a relatively long video. I didn't realize it would take so long to go through these mystery packs. So I might actually cut this short and save this one for another video, especially given the difficulty in getting these dollar packs open. But given the quality of that one, now I'm really excited about the rest. So let's see what we got in here. Um, I do feel something sleeved, I think, so Yep, there's some sleeved cards in here, so we might have something cool. All right, let's see what we got. So this top card is actually sleeved to Steve McNair. Not sure why it's sleeved. It's not a rookie card. It's an insert card, though. We'll figure it out later. I'll put it aside. All right, we got a Tim Brown on top. An edge is always numbered, so this is a serial numbered card, which is pretty cool. We'll put that aside to get sleeved up. Uh, Diamond Might Joey Galloway. I used to love Joey Galloway, so that's a pretty cool card from Upper Deck. Um, who is that? This is a numbered card too. It's a gold script out of 100. That's cool. Charlie Jones from M uh, Upper Deck MVP. Number 12 out of 100. So look at that sleeved up as well. Very cool. Simeon Rice. That's a Simeon Rice rookie. He was a really good defensive player. Uh, Thomas Jones from Victory. I gotta look at the back of these now because I didn't expect that other one to be to be numbered um that's a cool looking card too we have a gary scott rookie card which is numbered we gotta go back and check those other cards this is out of 2500 from donruss 2000 um i'm shocked the number of cards that are that are numbered that are coming out of here uh signature series this is john hendrickson this is a sample card, so it is actually a short print. Uh, we have Donald Riche Caldwell from Gallery. That's a rookie card, not numbered. <laughs> uh, an unsung heroes of Jeff Blake QB for the Bengals for a while. In fact, most of these are sleeved. This is pretty cool. Uh, David Boston. Is that numbered? No. Uh, Peerless Price. Troy Edwards. Special Edition Upper Deck. Uh, yeah, that's Michael Westbrook. He had a good career. Another David Boston NFL draft pick card. James Johnson. Cecil Collins. All rookies. Frank Sanders. Wide receiver for the Cardinals. There's a star rookie Giants draft pick of Tyrone Wheatley out of Michigan. Star rookie. Giants fans were excited to get him. Didn't really pan out, but they mostly don't. Dwayne Bates. That's a rookie. Is that? I'm wondering if that's. No. Um, Dunta Robinson. He had a couple of good years. That's numbered also. At a 625. So that's the third, fourth numbered card in this single pack so far, which is. Honestly, kind of mind-blowing, given that it was a, a dollar pack. Um, we got uh, LeVon Kirkland, who was a good player, but we got two of them, which is kind of interesting. Um, it is his rookie card, though, so that's kind of cool. Um, Henry Colbert from Panini Prestige. Uh, there's a Jets rookie. That's Derek Strait. Put that aside for my cousin. Big Jets fan. 
Uh, Darnay Scott. Kellen Winslow, who is now out of football, and Kevin Falk. Kevin Falk draft pick card. So, pretty good stuff. Really good stuff. Um, again, for a, a, a dollar pack, um, you can't expect much more than what we uh, what we ended up getting. So, really satisfied with that. Now, let's go and see if the other football is just as good. I saw Tim Brown from Edge on top, so there's going to be at least one numbered card in here. Careful to do this, not to wreck the cards. Okay. Same deal, lots of sleeved cards in here, so that's a... A good sign to me. And this is an edge, um, uh, one of those translucent cards. It is going to be serial, not going to be serial numbered, but it what? Edge 94. All right, still a cool card. All right, we got Brett Favre on top. Monday Night Heroes. That's not numbered, but it's a Favre, which is pretty cool. Uh, Top's finest of... Oh, Heath Miller. Okay. Good tight end. Ryan Motes. Jabbar Gaffney. Another Jabbar Gaffney. Couple of rookie cards. Or Gaffney was pretty decent. Another Heath Miller. LJ Smith. So some decent players. A medallion card there. But uh, not as good as the first one, at least not so far. There's Willie Parker, a couple of Willie Parkers. Don't know why they put two of them in there. Ashley Lilly, 2002 rookie. $500 for the Andre Wadsworth. Somebody was obviously messing around. It is serial numbered out of 3,600, uh, but uh, not a $500 card. Pretty funny stuff though. Someone thought they were real, real funny with these, uh, with these stickers. Uh, we got Charlie Floyd. True Blue. That one is not going to be numbered. Thought it would be to go along with the other one, but... Charlie Floyd and Karan Coleman. Not numbered. Rydell Anthony Bowman's best. Uh, there's Jake Plummer, rookie class. So Jake Plummer rookie, not too bad. Put that aside. Jake Plummer had a decent career. Uh, Sean King, as well as uh, Karsten Bailey. You got a Benny Jopru. This is a Topps Chrome. Benny Jopru, I do not remember him. This is from 03. Uh, we got a mini of Rashawn Woods. Uh, Willie Parker again. I feel like that's the third Willie Parker in this pack, which is not great. Uh, Jerry or Jeremy Bloom. There's another Heath Miller. Omar Jacobs, who I do not remember. And another Heath Miller, so Heath Miller pack. Um, certainly not as exciting as the first pack. That is for certain, but they can't all be winners. And we did end up with a couple of numbered cards out of there, so that was kind of cool. All right, let's see what this basketball pack looks like. Um, just figured to gra I'd grab one basketball, see what it's all about. Um, who knows what's going to be in here. 
Um, and if I miss anything that is really good, please do let me know. Basketball is not my big sport of knowledge. But let's see what we can find. Nothing sleeved in here, so already not looking as promising, but does not mean much. Uh, okay, let's... We got an Isaiah Thomas from 1989. It's pretty cool. Put that aside, get that sleeved up. Uh, Julius Randle from Optic back in 19, uh, 2018. Julius Randle of the Knicks now. Um, Stadium Club Bill Walton throwback. Pretty cool. Drazen Petrovic. Who unfortunately passed away back in the day. Trying to figure out if that's an original or if that's a commemorative. Ikediagu, rookie card. Rashid Wallace, who had a nice career. That's from 2006 or 2005. Steven Jackson, another good player. Nice career. Roddy or Rodney White. Marcus Brinks or Marcus Banks. Ryan Gomes. Jason Smith. Dwayne Dedmond. Prism card. There's Trey Burke. Spent a moment on the Knicks there. Maurice Williams. There's Chuck Daly coaching card. Yeah, Patrick Ewing. That's cool. Favorite card of the uh, of this pack. 1990 Patrick Ewing. We got a Phil Jackson and a uh, Bailey Howell. There's Antoine Walker, Skybox Auto Graphics. That's kind of cool. With the fake auto on there. Michael Red, Gilbert Arenas. Some really good players. It's a third year Gilbert Arenas, so not too bad. Marcus Vincius, rookie card. Solomon Jones, so these are all rookies at least. From 2007. Solomon Jones, these are Topps Finest by the way. David Noel, there's Zach Randolph. Has stint with the Knicks, this is pre-Knicks, this is back when he was at the Blazers, second year card. Pretty cool. Um, Antonio McDice was a really good player as well. Uh, Tracy Murray. Had a real nice jumper, Tracy Murray. Uh, Brian Russell. Roy Rogers. And Samuel Dallenbear. That's a T uh, Tops 1952 style design. It's pretty cool. So that'll do it for the dollar packs. Really happy. I mean, for $5, we've got a lot of really good stuff. So um, maybe because they're in Cooperstown, they're holding themselves to a, a bit of a higher standard. But, uh, you know, these are, these are pretty good cards. Five bucks to end up with, uh, with this kind of spread plus all those others. You know, numbered cards. Some uh, some big time names with early cards, so we'll take that. Absolutely. All right, well, let's take a look at these. Like I said, we're gonna save this for another video. Um, these were both five or four dollars a piece. Um, you know, the others have been good so far. So let's see what we can find in here. Of course, these are not going to open up now. There we go. All right. $4 packs. All right. Winfield. Batting championship card of Galarraga Zobrist. 
Rob Ryan. Dave Parker. Got some, some variation at least, but uh, nothing too valuable so far. Tucker Barnhard. Sean Green. Al Morris. Jose Contreras. Back when he was with the Yankees, that's actually going to be Jose Contreras' rookie card. Uh, Jason Burke, is that? Oh, Jason Barre. He had some good years. It's his Bowman. I thought that would be numbered. It's got a kind of funny look, but. Sidney Ponson from Leaf. There's a Smoltz, Upper Deck 2000, Bubba Trammell, there's a Sporting News Brett Boone, dropping cards now, there's a rookie card, Quentin Berry, Bruce Hurst, Cha Sung Back, Mark Pryor, Upper Deck MVP. Johnny Damon back with the Royals. It's going to be Damon's rookie card, actually. Pretty cool. Bobby Witt, gold card from Score. Not numbered, but a parallel. His son having a little struggles to start the year, but he'll get it on track. Todd Walker. Mike Soroka. Got some 88 tops. Steve Trout with the wild hair back in 1980. John Farrell. Got some early 80s stuff in here. Frank Rodriguez. There's Chris Carpenter. Shannon Stewart. Day. Man wearing. There's Roberto Hernandez, rookie card. He pitched forever. Calvin Pickering from Fleer Tradition. Don't remember him. Dave Burba. Miguel Tejada. Stadium Club Chrome. Tejada, for the longest time, was one of the best shortstops in the game. Is this his rookie card, maybe? I gotta check. This might be Tejada's rookie. I like Tejada when he was playing. Uh, Abraham Nunez, Bowman Chrome. This is actually an on-card autograph. Look at that. That's interesting. Joe DeBerry. Must have been an, uh, maybe a through the mail or, or at a game, but that is an on-card autograph, so we got a hit. Very cool. Um, Alfonso Soriano. That's got to be printed, right? Yeah, I would assume that's printed on there. That doesn't look like an autograph. The other one is, but that's got to be part of the card. Alfonso Soriano there. Scott Ellerton and a Robin Yount. So we got a hit out of the $4 box. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. These boxes have not disappointed. You know, $25, $30 all in for everything here. And we are pulling some, some really cool stuff. Last one of the video. We're going to save that big box for another video. Um, but uh, hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Um, going hunting and searching for hits. That's what I do. So good, good stuff. We got Ozzy Smith, the Wizard of Oz from 87 Tops. Um, I just picked random ones. I didn't really... 
they were taped, so you can't really look in them, but, uh, you know, I, I just grabbed two random ones. Giuseppe Schiarmonti from 2000, and, uh, 2000 Bowman. Do not remember him. Sean Green, Tucker Barnhart, AJ Burnett. We're getting some of the similar cards here. Bruce Harvey, Lance Berkman. Fred McGriff from Bowman. Palmero. Jeremy Burnett's. One time New York Met. Tim Worrell. Gold Glove Award winner, Brett Boone. Quentin Berry rookie again. <laughs> Tony Phillips. There's Kerry Wood. Ismael Valdez. Got a Rick Aguilera. Gold Rush card. Adam Dunn. Todd Hundley, former Met. Grant Jackson. Going through this one quite a bit quicker. Not much in here so far. Tim Davis, Rance McCullens, Pagnazzi, Glendon Rush, spent some time on the New York Mets, JJ Toby, Pod Worrell, Tony Phillips, Cirillo, Salas, Brian Anderson, draft pick card from Pinnacle, Don Baylor, Brian Williams, there's another Roberto Hernandez rookie, <laughs> Ryan Miner, Marty Cordova from Bowman, Todd Hudley, All-Star 96, Jeff Weaver, And Seiko, Brett Boone, and Kirby Puckett. So that'll do it. Really nothing in that pack. Relatively disappointing. But that's the way it goes. And that'll do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, pretty cool stuff. Like I said, I did not expect to find the hits and the numbered cards like we did. So really good stuff. Um, but that will do it for this episode of Searching for Hits with Eric. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day, everybody.